So up until like actually recently before I met Brian like marriage was not in the plans for a long time. Well Brian? So <clears throat> my lifelong dream was to live in Hawaii. I decided to go out to Hawaii just to live. I finally got there and I decided to get a job at the Polynesian Cultural Center. My trainer was Brian. When I first saw her, I thought she was definitely a girl worth getting to know more. I remember going home that day telling my friend Liz that there was this really cute boy that trained me at work and I couldn't wait to see him the next day because he was like, he was eye candy. and. <laughs> Just from the first couple times we were hanging out, I just felt something different about her. I thought she was gorgeous. He was like super tall, which I was super Twitter painted about. She was just really fun and down to earth. Then when Brian like asked me out on our first date, my friends were all like, oh my gosh, you're gonna marry him. And I was like, no, guys, come on. It's nothing serious. Like we're just gonna go on a date and have a little fling in Hawaii. It's gonna be awesome. I was pretty sure I wanted to make something more serious of our relationship. And so I just, kept taking her on dates. How was it? And I recognized that she was different like immediately and stuff, but like after a while I just realized that she's the type of girl that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I just thought like he was like way too good to be true. Are you videoing? <laughs> Things got more serious. Brian decided that he wanted to go to Utah with me for the summer and keep dating. A big audience. Everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hi. We decided that we like for sure wanted to get married. In that time, we talked about it and I was going on a humanitarian trip to Ecuador for 10 weeks. I started thinking about uh, rings and stuff, started kind of looking around. She found one that she really wanted. So I ended up getting this ring. I was so excited. When I got back from Ecuador, Brian was constantly like fake proposing. Like, we would go on a hike, and he would get down on one knee and pretend like he was going to propose. Yeah. Every freaking time you go, he goes, I love you. There was one weekend, he was up at Idaho, still going to school, and he was coming down that weekend. I told her we were going to go on a special date so she would get dressed for the weather. And he just was like super excited to come, like a lot more than usual. And I was trying to hold up hold the excitement in so she wouldn't know that I was planning something. It sounded kind of nervous, make me wonder a little bit. So I have the ring in my car. When he got there, uh, we were talking and he was like, I just, I just couldn't sleep last night. And I was like, what? Why not? Then I told her that she had to wait there for a minute. And he said he needed to run to his run Brett's house before we left on this special date. Well, while she's waiting, I actually went and met up with Tyson and we threw a, a mic on me and a GoPro in my car. Okay, now it's recording. Red light. I waited there for a while because naturally Brian takes a while. Then I drive over super quick. I was already a little behind schedule. Yeah, we can do that. That'll be good. Finally, he comes in and he's like, all right, Tiff, we're gonna go on the state and I have to blindfold you because you can't see. I was like, what? Blindfold me? So he puts me in his car. And I told her she couldn't ask a lot of questions because it was a surprise. You can see red. Close. They're trying to get there as quick as possible. Tiffany just keeps asking me all sorts of questions. I can't even like, is this because I can't see where we're going or I can't see? Just don't open it, please, Tiff. And he's like, no asking questions, Tiff, no asking questions. And I'm like, okay, five seconds later, I had to ask another question. Why did you have to go to Brett's? Is he here? I said no questions, Tiff. And I was trying not to make it obvious by not answering them. So we're driving there and we finally get to the top and it's super cold. Don't open your eyes. And so I get her out of the car and I put a blanket on her because it was freezing. And he just kept leading me along further and further. No. Just follow me, okay? Hold on. Trust me. I was kind of nervous, like, I didn't know if I was gonna fall off a cliff or something, so I was like tiptoeing really nervously. Now, take slow steps. Take slow steps. <laughs> During the time I'm up at the top waiting for the balloons to come up, my friend Brett's down at the bottom. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> 
Let it rain. If you're ready to go. He's lighting them off, and it's not working as well as we had hoped. Oh, not going. We're gonna have to go. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm up the top, and they're just not coming up as quick as I wanted them to. It's pretty. No. There's no one here. And he just made me stand there, and it was freezing. The wind was blowing, and like, it, yeah, it was really cold. So I'm standing there, and Brian's gone. I don't know where he went. He went off somewhere, and I'm just standing there, wrapped in this blanket, like freezing cold. Like, what is going on? Still blindfolded. Don't know where I am. Meanwhile, Brett is just trying to figure out how to get them all up. It's and good. It's going. <laughs> So far, they haven't gone up too well. Yeah, it's rolling. It's rolling. There you go. Yeah. One of them ended up blowing over into the side of the mountain <laughs> while it was caught in a bush. I started catching on fire. <laughs> Everyone starts freaking out. No. He's running up the mountain as fast as he can and just starts stomping this, this lantern out, like throwing dirt on it, everything he can so it doesn't catch the mountain on fire. I think they got it. I think they got it. You think they got it? Yeah. It's not going yet. They finally get him up. She's still had her blindfold on. And I'm just thinking in my head, and I hope this works out. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, my favorite song starts playing. When your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> then Brian comes up from behind and like gives me a hug and it was really cute and then he finally <laughs> took the blindfold off and there was like I saw like there was like two Chinese lanterns coming up in the sky like and the view was amazing like it was so it was like breathtaking was, especially when you're blindfolded for so long and you take the blindfold off and you're just like whoa just like all the city lights and it was dark, it was so pretty. And then these floating lanterns like started coming up from the bottom of the mountain and I was like, who's lighting those off? And he was like, don't worry about it. And I just like started laughing and just like, it was, it was really cute. I still don't think she knew exactly what was going on. She was just probably a little confused but excited. At that point, like we kind of sat there and watched them for a little bit and then I was like, Okay, maybe this is really just a special date because we've been sitting here for a while and nothing's happened. And I just wanna tell you I I could tell he was like trying not to let me turn around and I like wanted to turn around because I was like, what's what's back there? So he hugged me and then I like turned my head and I saw the camera and I was like, oh boy, like this is it's real, it's gonna happen. I want to make you happy forever. <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> will you marry me? Only if you promise you're not kidding this time. What? You said only if you promise you're not kidding this time. I'm <laughs> not. Nah. Yes, I will. You don't want to see the ring? It's so windy. Oh my gosh. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh my god, that's huge. <laughs> Look up and close to Is that Brett? Or is that my brother? Who is that? That's Tyson. Oh, that's Tyson? Hey, Tyson. <laughs> It was like, I was like in shock and didn't even like, couldn't even like process what was happening. It was really cute. We put this giant rock on my finger. <laughs> but yeah, then we got back in the car and we went on our special date after that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Is that Tyson? And who else? Hey Tyson. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hey, Diana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold up here. <laughs> no, dang. I didn't think it'd be that cold. Sweet. Makes you want to see your ring, huh? Look at those. Tiff, look. Blink, blink. Seriously. That's a mountain. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> So sweet. That's so cool. Oh, Congratulations, you guys. We're engaged. I love how she oh said, Are you really doing it this time? <laughs> like, have the no, ring. I'm do this much effort to fake you out. Oh, you're serious.